What has food got to do with immigration law? Quite a lot, as you're about to find out. Case study one, I run a takeaway business. Can I become a sponsor and bring people over here to work? Sponsor licenses are not limited to corporate um, companies or specific industry, but includes a wider spectrum of businesses, including takeaway establishments. Many employees have approached me, primarily driven by the concern for staff shortage. And provided you meet the requirements, it is absolutely possible for a small takeaway business to become a sponsor and have skilled workers over. Case study two, can a restaurant bring over a chef? Or I am a chef, can I apply for a job in the UK as a skilled worker? If you are a chef or a pastry chef or have worked as a chef in a private household, great news, you can apply to come over provided you have a sponsor in the United Kingdom. There is no formal requirement for this job as long as you have the experience for it. I recently made an application for a chef to come over and work for a small takeaway business in London. But there's another option for chefs who want to come and work in the UK for a short period of time, such as for a food festival or for a masterclass at a venue. This is also possible. Case study three. What if I am a sommelier and want to come over to the UK? Currently, to secure a skilled worker visa, sommeliers need to ask their employer or the sponsor to change the job title to either bar managers or restaurant manager to ensure eligibility under the immigration rules under the PBS route. The hospitality industry has indicated that adding sommelier to the skilled worker route would be a lifeline. As a result, the shortage occupational list is set to provide a new route for sommeliers at as the hospitality industry looks to fill about 700 vacancies. So if you own a restaurant, a bar, or if you are in the hospitality business, I can help you find solutions for your business hires. Contact me today at Katie Legal, and I will advise you not only on your business immigration plan, but also as how to deal with compliance with the Home Office when it comes to obtaining the license and keeping the license. Thank you for watching Katie Legal.